Now let's look at E3 from the perspective of both consoles individually. If you're on the fence, check out this video and the next to see the new exclusive or at least preferential offerings for both the PS4 and Xbox One. On the PS4 side of things, you'll have The Order 1886, an alternate history shooter that seems to be shaping up nicely. Fans of the infamous franchise can look forward to First Light, a DLC slash standalone coming exclusively to the PlayStation 4. Bloodborne, which we talked about in the first video, will also be a PS4 exclusive, along with the beautiful No Man's Sky, and the next offering in the Uncharted series, A Thief's End. And then there's Little Big Planet 3, a game which some of you may have convinced yourselves you're too old to enjoy anymore, but you're probably wrong. The third installment looks like a lot of fun, and it's definitely an easy sell for anyone with kids living in the same house. And then there's Planet Side 2, a massively multiplayer, free-to-play, first-person shooter originally only available on PC that will now be making its way onto the PS4. So if you're tired of 16v16 or 32v32 matchups and FPS titles, why not try out a game that features literally hundreds of players per side in a persistent universe? And in terms of exclusives on the PS4, those are the ones that stand out the most. Which is a good thing, really. Exclusives might be good for companies trying to sell consoles, but they aren't really good for consumers. We're not done yet, though. Next, we'll look at games you'll only be able to play on the Xbox One. 